Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Overworld Blues, playing as that New America, which originated from Old America, but really New Vegas. But anyways, let's go ahead and continue the re-manifesting destiny idea. So, uh, you guys, honestly, Petro Chico, go right ahead, guys, see what you can do. I like mostly green, but I prefer all green. That's okay, though. That's really okay. So, a couple comments. I forgot that the U.S., before the Great War happened, um, annex both Mexico and Canada, so that's why we get all the cores on every state. I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, cool. Someone also re recommended that I play as the Bone Dancers uh, after this campaign is over. I've already played as the Bone Dancers, but um, let's just say that uh, you can tell the future, maybe. You might be able to tell the future. I'm going to leave it at that. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Anyways. Let's kill off Petro Chico. <laughs> and then we'll go to Optra Honduras and move up north. Actually, I started making some ships too. Do we have any ships yet? We do have are still one ship, but I decided, you know what? There's no point just waiting around all the time now. Let's go ahead and start making stuff if we can. Salt crafts, trebuchets, floating fortresses, good stuff like that. Come to the Boneyard. Where is it? Boneyard, where are you? There you are. Cool. And we can scrap another one of these, it's fine. Cool, let time go on, it's fine, whatever. Get some naval rams, Petro Chico, we've lost about 200 versus 45,000. Not bad, I mean, I, I think that's pretty good, right? Right? And hostile take over at Petro Chico, my friends. Hostile. Quite hostile. Scorpio, very good, very good. Yeah, at 57,000, and now we have capitulated them. Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful. Very good. So, you guys come up here. Uh, I wonder how many divisions that Honduras actually has. I can't imagine they're feeling too good trying to, you know, cover all these extra states and lose their manpower that way, but that's okay. Someone's got to lose it. That should be enough. Uh, do we have radar? Radar would definitely help down here. Planes, get some pl more air bases. Infrastructure, we're working on it, which is good. Tanks, Ooh, there you, go. you know what? We'll send you guys to this area just so we make sure we take everyone out appropriately. Do we have our soldiers up here yet? Nope, we got some nuclear hydro jets though. That's very cool. Get some more speed, secondary engines for all the ships that we will have someday. Someday, someday, cool. And working on convoys, you know what? Throw another floating fortress. There we go. Now we can get rid of all the extra convoys. I think having 6,000 is probably good enough. Just saying. Probably good enough. And more of the Boneyard. Pretty good. Uh, let's see. You guys should be down there pretty darn soon. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. There you go. Good. Uh, yeah, how many divisions do they have? Can we tell? Nope, and, and it's glitched. That sucks. Oh, they have 56,000 manpower. That's a lot more than I thought they would have. They only have 33 divisions, which isn't great for them. Get some more plane speed, I suppose. That's fine with us. Jet bombers. Huh? Nuclear jet bombers? I'm not really going to use those, but that's fine. You guys are doing a great job. We should have these guys up here already. Ish. Yeah, they're not looking too strong here. Wow. Maybe they just need to make more APCs. That's probably it. Go ahead and have a good time. They can probably pierce you, maybe. Send in the tanks from the other side. Oh, yeah. Infantry versus tanks. Can they pierce us? No, they can't. Glorious. How thick are my tanky boys? Hopeville is gone. Man, there should be... I'm thinking, you know, as we're taking these nations out, they're pretty darn small. Like, what about creating the option of demanding subjugation? Like, you don't have to straight up annex them, but just, like, subjugate them. I think that'd be kind of a cool mechanic. Especially for, like, that could work in Old World Blues. Just because of how small, you know, some of these nations are, like, Ashton and Hopeville. I think that'd be pretty cool. If we could have that. But that's just me. That is just me. Cool. Send up you guys up here, too. We got roads to build eventually. 
Because after this, it's time for the north. Nice, we're doing a great job down here. Uh, oh, you guys need to go. Good. Keep it up. Good, good, good. Keep it up, guys. Because I'm going to need you for the Washington Brotherhood. But that's okay. We can spend a little bit of time doing this just because we're going to need a lot of time building up a ton of ships. And you guys are the assault craft. Yeah. Cool. Very good. You know what? Just combine you guys together. That's fine. Heavy machine guns. Very cool. Very good. Very good. Make sure we get over here. Very good. Very good. You guys are up there. Kind of waiting. Hanging out. We're pretty much going to have to hang out and wait. As the Washington Brotherhood is really killing off Graven's Coast. If they can do that, that'd be awesome. That'd actually make it so that we wouldn't even really need a navy, too. Oh, we can, yeah, since we have it, we might as well use it, right? Cool. Uh, thank you. And thank you. Did we actually finish? Yeah, it looks like we finished that. Very good. Uh, deck guns, very cool. Come on, guys. You've got them. There are only a couple guys here. Come on, take him out, take him out. You got this. Secondary engines, very good, very good. Chance received critical hit goes down, very awesome. How many, yeah, oh, we can't find a chicken. Oh, so they lost about two thirds of their army. They lost 24,000 guys. We only have about 1,900 factories. They're almost out of manpower, 13 divisions, 12 divisions left. And hopefully it'll be, oh, 13 now. 13 divisions, they just produced another one. San Pedro Sula. Good. Keep up the pressure. If you need another air base down here, or probably some more infrastructure, don't worry about it. We're right on it. Good. Good. And I guess that right there. Tons of political power, though. Wow. Provide power armor to scavengers. Oh, yeah, we also want to do breach the facility. Do that. Help agricultural experts. Sure. I guess we can. Doesn't really matter at all. Come on, guys. Get it. Get it. Hey, there they go. Now Mexico's all done. Very good. Cool. So that's looking pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. And then we come up all the way up here. Hmm. I might need another army. We do it like this. There you go. I'll pull out like one, two divisions. To do something like this right there. Give me one right here. There. Should be fine. Cool. Now, hopefully, these guys, they're doing pretty darn well. I don't want to disturb them yet. It's in our interest for them to uh, do this real quick. Uh, granite texture, why not? Anything else here? Nope. It's good. Anything else we can do here? I um, mean, we could go all the way to almost war changes, but. War never changes, but no. Nah. Mm, not really. I mean, we're pretty much ready to go. Get some air bases around here. We're building stuff up. We got some pretty good infrastructure in different places around here. It's very nice, very nice, and this is what I like the most. Ah, no resistance. Ah, that just that feels so good. No resistance. And we're probably going to need a lot more of this. Another, another division. Good. Cool. Maximize it all out. 
Uh, let's take a look at this war before we do anything. And do we have solve this? Yes, we do. Oh, they're almost dead. Nice. Keep it up. Keep it up. You guys have lost 10,000 versus 17,000? Yeah, if they can just beat up Graven's Coast, that's all we have to do then. That's pretty good. That's actually very, very good. Alloy casting. I don't think I could send volunteers to uh, the Washington Brotherhood to help take these guys out. I doubt I could. 96? They probably just need like one more VP, which might be the port. Maybe, maybe not. I oh, got some VPs around here. How strong? Oh, uh, let's do this one first. That's good. Emergency ceiling. Oh, they must have, like, no manpower. 20 divisions, no manpower. Oh, you both have no manpower. Hmm. I could go to war with them first, but there'd really be no point for us to. Another six guys. Good. All light cruisers. We have one destroyer there. Yeah, I'm going to need some heavy ships. Please. <laughs> Please. Come on, guys. Keep killing each other. Help, to help them out, I will do this. Put you guys like a rock. Never mind. Wow, I well, I didn't even need to make a navy then. Probably. Look at that brotherhood. Look at that old country. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Give them a little bit of time before we kill them off. Also, I threw on a bunch more planes on our guys, so. Yeah. Just so many planes. Contact lost. Oh no, that's not good. Well, let's do that. Very good. Very, very good. <clears throat> and it's time for a little bit more conflict. Oh, yeah. Do they attack us? Oh, they kind of do. Let's watch them try to fail on our line first. Can they pierce us? Nope. That's actually kind of surprising. There's a lot of old country doing that, though. And they're attacking over here, but we already built up infrastructures, which is fine. You guys, both some stuff up there. Offensive armaments. I love being offensive. More range. Yes, please. They've decrypted our ciphers. I forgot about this hole. So I get to time to push in then. We can cover that. Wow. With the Washington Brotherhood not having that much... Uh... Oh, wow. Look at that. Manpower. I think we'll probably do pretty okay around here. Pretty darn okay. Losses. Around 200 versus 13,000. Not bad, not bad. Could be better. Now I'm glad we got over here too. Cannons. Look at all those divisions we're overrunning. Just beautiful. Dust in the wind. We didn't care enough to look for scavengers. It seems that they're gone for good. Hopefully their friends and loved ones will forgive us for letting them die, but they won't be the last people to die in the wasteland. So it goes. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie. Do it again. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I should have I sent out a contact. Contact team. Rescue team. My bad. Alright, so it looks like you guys are mostly done around here. So. There you go. And then, there you go. And then, there you go. Oh, uh, we got some more military factories. There you go. Have at the outriggers. Cool, do that. And then we'll just have a little bit of fun. And do more Skiertrons. Because 63,000 is not enough. It is never enough. Oh, you guys, what are you up to? Not much, huh? Stop out up there then. Cool, and let me have a little sip of my decaf coffee. Only the Brotherhood's left with 57 divisions, or 50 divisions, and they're dying. What a beautiful thing, man. What a beautiful thing. 46, 45, good, bye, bye, bye. Oh, you guys have nothing to do? You guys have nothing to do? What? Ah, Capitol Hill, that autonomous zone is gone. Or Occupy Protest, whatever it is. Hey, there we go, my friends. But we're not done yet. We have one more enemy to take out. And actually, you know what? I'm going to sacrifice some soldiers doing it. You'll see what I mean. 
Ah, uh, now this. This is gonna look good. It's gonna look real good. We hold these truths to be self-evident. Let's see, where is it? As a non-Mexican nation, own all pre-war states of the United States of America. Yes. So, let's put you guys back over here. And where's Area 51? There it is. Um, I think this is where it's going to land, probably. Game, I don't, I don't think you'd realize that uh, we can't really do any more ciphers. We're a little stuck. But in, in any case... Hold, wait, hold on. Hold on. Did you see that? Wait. Critical foreign power activities are destabilizing the country. Um, I'm not so sure about that. I, I think you're lying to me. I think America is the only country left. And rightfully so. But... Uh, mm, I don't know about that, man. I, I really don't know. Very cool. And this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna uh, sacrifice a few guys here. I'm surprised supply isn't this terrible yet. We got plenty of radar around here. Power scavenger, power armor scavengers attacked. Oh no! I think this should happen in Area 51, so let's go and breach the facility. So, we are stuck. A massive security door blocks our path, yet with enough explosives, we might manage to get through. Is it wise, though? The door seems to be made to both keep something inside, as well as keep us outside. It was a trap. This is why I waited until now. It turns out that Area 51 was not meant to protect the riches from the outside world, but to protect the outside world from something within. As soon as the blast doors were broken into, we were swarmed by a replicated robotic army led by a mysterious commander. This commander has no interest in diplomacy, fueled only by rage, like a demon wrought from hell itself to punish us for summoning it. What have we done? Declare war? Oh no! Oh, they just instantly killed all my soldiers. Well, crap. Little green men? That's okay. Wait. Oh, are these considered special forces? Oh, we only have so much manpower. Oh my gosh, they actually killed all my guys. Oh, uh, wait. Why can't I train anymore? We can train at most 2400 by max 50% of. Um. Okay, so I don't understand that. They literally just killed off my guys for some reason. <laughs> Greetings from Earth Monkeys. I don't want to get probed. Maybe I'm actually going to lose this just because they have so many divisions out there. We have, we have all the planes in the world, but even then, it's not going to be enough for all this. So That doesn't make any sense. What happened to my divisions? Just because I'm surrounding Area 51 doesn't mean you just... They literally just deleted my divisions, which is really not cool at all. Go ahead and move in if you can. Can we destroy over 220 or 220 divisions in total? Uh, that made no sense. You just obliterated my tanks, man. That's not cool. That's not cool. I'll put you on just because we have nothing else to put you on. And you guys should be led with this guy. Okay, Ganon. What a dude. I mean, they can't really expand out too much unless we're, unless we're not covering a tile, so. Get in there. And actually, let's make sure we have enough planes for that tank. Nice. Oh, you got some guys here. Alright. Looks great. I mean, we're winning so far. I mean, I mean, that's kind of a lot of damage. 160-some? 112? That's still a lot. So, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Hey, we got Ace Pilot Typhoon Spartan. Cool. Go ahead and get 
You guys can move in. Uh, actually, since we have you guys, can we get the Cypher? No? Okay. Well, no Cypher for them. They've lost one division so far. We've already capitulated them. Almost. They've lost about a thousand guys. How much manpower do they have? That was really interesting that they just destroyed like half... More than half my army. And I'm left with a few crumpets of divisions. That's very interesting. I'm like, wow, that's very unusual. Could you guys win here? What is their template like? Riches of 51. Oh, uh, they got 15 com... Well, they have a lot of combat robots, which means they have, like, no organization, or very, very little. They have 8,000 spare robots in reserve, but that's not really going to help them if they can't move around. Cool! I, I was getting actually very, very worried as soon as I saw all these divisions destroyed. I'm like, oh my gosh. We can't do anything now. And we still can't train. The defenses are online, though. That's cool. But I think at this point, we pretty much won the war. They really can't do much to us. That's really weird, though. Like, everything was destroyed. And I think I know I missed this one focus that we could have done. The Lake Mead Super Fortress spawns bombers. I think we're kind of okay with not getting that research. Or focus finished. Oh, we have another slot. Even though this doesn't even matter either right now. At all. Well, we managed to make how many ships? Quite a, quite a few. And losses. I haven't even suffered 200 losses yet versus 9,000. God, I love planes. Very good, very tasty. <sighs> Makes you feel nice and warm inside, doesn't it? Come on, guys, we've got them. We've only killed 11,000. We've lost 200 now. Finally lost 200. Plasma Discharger. Cool. And let's move on in. And, oh, look at that. All those guys are going to... Wow. We've cut them down into literally half of what they were originally. Beautiful. It's actually a lot easier than I thought. You just got to be prepared for it and have, have a god-tier ton of... Huh, look at that. Of uh, planes. That's my secret strategy to everything here. But that's pretty much going to be this campaign, my friends. I love the Courier 6 mod. Or sub mod for Old World Blues when he plays New Vegas. It's so strong. It's awesome. But guys, hope you enjoyed this campaign. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow in a new, different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.